You like a bit of dubstep? You like a bit of wave shootery? Well, well, slide over here, people. I got a game for you. My name's Kanan, and welcome back to the home of cheap gaming. As we look at the menu, you have your normal options of music and sound, but this also has a vibration and a stick control. You can have motion or stick. Now, I tried motion and, well, it's the sort of thing where once you've completed the game, or at least got as far as you think you can get, go back and stick the motion controller on. Then you'll learn the real beating of this game. It turns a hard game into a rock solid game. Then you have the active Joy-Con, right or left, obviously, and that's about it. You have an endless mode which does pretty well what it says, it is endless and it is a mode. And on to the campaign, which starts nicely to get you into the swing of things, but soon ramps up and gives you more of a challenge to bite your teeth into. Now I will say that these sort of games aren't my forte and I started on normal level but had to drop down to casual level in the end because I was getting my ass kicked that much. Casual level kind of like is more of literally a casual level. You can breeze through it and just enjoy the music and the game for what it is instead of instead of having to cry and weep and, and swear at the screen as you keep dying. I will say that the biggest difference in the actual casual, hardcore and normal is the fact that your health goes down a lot quicker in the higher levels than in casual. So the top right of the screen gives you your score and the bottom green line which kind of squishes like water is your health. When you take damage you can notice because the screen does some sort of pulse um, thing which kind of does look actually quite cool, kind of like looking through an eye. Which is weird because you're always looking through your eyes. Everything pulses to the music which is kind of soothing and comforting, almost like a heartbeat. Boom, 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 boom. And all the bad guys and enemies just go with that. Boom, boom. It's actually quite nice. Take a listen. <laughs> And that pretty well covers your sound. I'm not even going to say anything more because it is that and more of that and different types of that. And that's kind of the point, if you get my meaning. Graphically, it's, well, it's okay. The backgrounds are nothing special, just something to make it look like it's going somewhere. And all the creatures are kind of like either shapes or splotches of what looks like paint. It's nice that when you hit something, they kind of like, you know, dissolve or come apart. You know what I mean. Have a look. And there's plenty of different, like, alien shapes and things like that. Alien shapes? I don't know. But some sort of different type of shape that I don't recognise, which is pretty cool with me. It's something different and they try to keep it, you know, fresh. And then you get power-ups, some that speed up the bullets and all sorts. It's, uh, yeah, it's what you'd expect from something like this. And it's fun. Is it fun? It is fun. Come on, it is fun. Being beaten in a game is fun. Okay, okay, I put it down to casual. Mainly because, oh, because I needed to do this review. Yeah, not because I can't do it. <laughs> I love the way that they've used different elements, not just things flying towards you. There's also like elements where you have to dodge things as well. That's actually quite cool because it gives it another element to the whole game. And actually I find those little bits quite fun. Reminds me of a game that I used to own on, I think it was the Amiga. And yeah, you kind of had to do that in that game. Anyway, I rate games out of five and I'm going to give Bullet Beat a whopping great 3 out of 5. 
Now, that's not to say that this game's rubbish, because it's not. A 3 out of 5 to me is a slightly above average game. I did enjoy the way each level seems to be completely different to the last. And the way that they use kind of like the shapes in unique ways. Uh, with like rope and things hanging off you as well. So what are your thoughts? Are you going to get it? Are you going to purchase it? It's under a fiver and it's worth under a fiver. So let me know down below in the comments because you know what? That's what they're there for. Anywho, hit that like and subscribe button. And remember, keep it cheap, keep it switch heads.